Hedberg won the first set. Let's go find Michael Barkan. Ted, um, I, I got the tickets. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, actually, we're on court three at the United States Tennis Center. This uh, place virtually used round the clock, and when the Open's not here, it's used as, as public courts for the city of New York. The two guys you see playing tennis are court attendants. They tend to the court during the day and into the night, and then when they're done, they take a couple of hits. Let's go to the studio now and Diana and I had. Diana? Uh, Michael, don't get too lonely out there, huh? Come in and join us. This is Diana and I had in the studio. Defending champion Gabriella Sabatini was pushed hard today, even though she won the match in straight sets over Yana Novotna. And this is what it looked like. A capacity crowd got involved in the action as both players placed the ball well and used every inch of available coin. A marathon run for Sabatini. Her tremendous athleticism was on full display, and she stayed tough and took it 6 4 7 6. She will go up in the quarters against Jennifer Capriati, having a pretty easy time of it so far. In 53 minutes, a winner over Joe Dury. Now, in the bottom quarter of the draw, Monica Sellis won today even quicker than Capriati in 48 minutes, and she will meet Gigi Fernandez, the prize winner of her quarter of the draw. She beat Rodka Zrubakova today, and this is Gigi's best ever showing in nine U.S. Opens. Let's take a look at the top half of the draw. That'll be tomorrow's action. These ladies trying to make it into the quarters. Graf plays Judith Wies Wiesner. Zena Garrison playing well after a uh, fairly poor summer against Conchita Martinez. Arantxa Sanchez Vicario and her brother Emilio, by the way, will be playing tomorrow. She'll take on the Soviet Zvereva. And Manuela Maleva Franier is going to take on Martina Navratilova. Let's get back to action. Chang and Edberg. Let's go back upstairs, guys. All right, Diana, 15 all here, and Chang, the winner in the first game of the second set. Michael, way behind the baseline, and then suddenly realizes he can make this shot, whips over the ball, and he is spectacular at catching balls that are maybe a couple inches off the court surface and doing something with them. So oh, Edberg winning the first set in a tie break and then starting the second on his serve. It's 15.30. That time Stefan Edberg tried to go behind Michael Chang. He anticipates it. Stefan Everett was lucky to get his racket on it, and Michael just comes right over the top, flicks at it. Another angle. And a hook ball called on Edberg. Had a good number of them in the last match, and Edberg called here. He, he was called quite a bit up, up at the weekend there at the Hamlet, and uh, he moves his right foot. Well, Michael Chang right back in it starts the second set with a break. A look here at the first set statistics. Interesting when you analyze how close that set was. 23 winners for Edberg, 18 for Chang. Very close. But Edberg won 69% of all net points. That was the difference right there. You have a statistical mind, Barry. That it's is, evident. <laughs> that is one thing I don't have. Michael Chang serving after breaking to start the second set. There's a look. Edberg comes in. Thought he had a good opportunity to close into the net. Short volley that gave Chang all sorts of opportunities to flick it cross court. The 
This is unreal. Oh, oh, unbelievable point. <laughs> the best point of the tournament. By unbelievable. Far. It was over five times. <laughs> this is the best point we've seen since the tournament began. Edberg makes an unbelievable get. Another unbelievable shot. And he wins the point. Chang, low volley, lunging on this, gets it somehow. And then Edberg, again, Chang thought he had it won here, but gets past cross court. <laughs> You're right, Michael. That was a <laughs> tremendous tennis point. We talk about Michael Chang's feet, but Edberg all over the place. Look out. Oh, these guys are putting on some show out here. And that shows you how sharply you have to angle volleys to get away from Chang. Edberg hit a great approach shot, very deep, covers the ball down the line. And then just cups around it, played it a little high, Chang all <laughs> running all over the court. He runs it down. He's hustling, 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 uh, but a little, <laughs> a little bit too far out of his reach. Can't take anything for granted with Michael Chang running around the court. out wide it was good for length yep. two break points for Edberg and even when both players miss a ball they're not missing by much firm mm -hmm. Michael Chang's year it's been a disappointment in many ways hoping to make up for it at the US Open but Edberg a chance to break back Coming in on a crucial point, down break point, and he elects to get into that net. We are seeing a different Michael Chang out here tonight. There is Joe Chang, the green hat, who a lot of times will go out and start warming up with Michael, helps him before matches. Good tennis player. second set. Well, the quality of tennis we've seen over the last five or six games has been mm -hmm. sensational. Exceptional. They've, yeah. Michael cannot feel too badly. I mean, Edberg is playing very well. Only won the first set 7-6. way up high. Watch, watch the serve now. The right the right foot right there. You saw the toe behind the baseline, but that is where Edberg gets in trouble on the football. It's the right foot that moves forward and touches the line. Most people creep up with their left foot if they're righty, but Edberg drags his back foot up and sometimes touches the line. And I talked to Tony Pickard about that last weekend, Vetus, and he said he does it only when he throws the ball about another foot in front. He forces himself to move in. There's Tony right there, Stefan's coach. And, and when the ball is thrown out in front, he's trying to get a little more flat serve into it. That's when he foot falls. And he's also trying to get a better jump into the net. Yeah. Get a little bit closer for the first volley.
Never did finish that uh, thought about Chang in the first set. That Davis Cup match we referred to last year was against Horst Scott. Chang lost the first two sets. The match went to the next day, and he came back and won it in five to give U.S. the tie over Austria. Great serve by Stefan Edberg, but an even better return by Michael Chang. Takes it on the rise, shorter backswing. Pops it right by Stefan. Turn of serve and now a break point for Chang. Edward lunging to get to this volley. Double hit it. Try it again. If it had been in one motion, it would have counted, but the double tap.